Sin was great.
were so cool, like really. I saw like this beautiful sunset with the sea. It was, it was gorgeous. It was beyond comparison. Like it was like blues and, and pinks and it was just gorgeous to see. And then I was standing there and it's like I motioned my arms forward and there was like a line that cleared. Like the seas sort of parted and there was a line that cleared there. It was like a, a water slide and there was like a hole at the end. So obviously there's like water going through it. And I was asking dad, what did he mean by this? Like, what did he want to say with all of this? And he was like, it was, he didn't really say anything, but that the vision was still there. I was trying so hard to understand what, what I was seeing. And then, then all of a sudden I decided to say, you know what dad, no matter what it is, I will surrender. And it's like, the end that I was standing at, the water, it just like, the turret, it just like exploded. It was a huge turn of water. It just like spewed out of it and went to the other end. And then I understood, like, it's like the vision expanded. And what I thought at first was the horizon is actually, was actually a dam. And the little like port at the end, that was water coming through that dam. And then when I decided to surrender to dad, it was, it became apparent well, obviously more water came through it. And then I finally understood what he was saying. All of the water that was there before is the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit and what, what is available to you, the, the unending quantity of like all that power that he wants to give to you, all that power that he just wants to like use you with in or whatever. And then it's like when I motioned my arms forward, it was like me deciding how much of that water, how much of that Spirit I actually wanted to use. And then when I finally decided to submit to my dad and my father and say, you know what, dad, I don't care anymore. Do whatever you want to do with me. He just exploded in me. He just, he just erupted. It, it, it's, it's so cool. In that moment when I said, hey, I want you to do what you want to do with me. It's like he said, finally, boom, the water's just overflowed they, they just could not be contained anymore by that tiny water slide it had to go over the dam it had oh my goodness it is literal overflow do you all understand what i'm saying when we submit to dad himself he will do crazy things beyond our own imagination he will break down the walls that we will use to box him in with when we give to him the thing we think we have to hold on to ourselves he will take that seed and turn it into a rose. He will take that seed and turn it into an oak tree. He will do with it what it needs to be done. Just believe. Give that to Him. Oh, my children. And come to my Drink in my spirit and rest in my presence. Oh, my children, come to the river. Taste in my
cannot stop seeing the flame of the Lord. It's the whitest, brightest, hottest flame. And it's burning in our hearts. And it's a vehement flame. It's His jealous love. And it is consuming. But very specifically, the Holy Spirit was saying that there are some that feel tainted by human love, worldly love. And they feel stained and they're bearing pain. And I see this fire, this flame of God's love. It's so holy. It's such a holy love. And it's so pure. And it's so perfect. And it's purifying. And it's healing the memories and the pain. And it's totally consuming the stain so that the Lord does not see you with any spot or wrinkle from anything in the past, any experience, any relationship, any way you've been touched by love that wasn't the holy love of God. Even if it was human love and the best it could be, there was something in there that some feel that they've been tainted and they've been stained and they're somehow not acceptable in the beloved in the eyes of the beloved and he is saying and I see this fire burning like this flame it's more jealous than the grave it's so vehement and the Lord is healing right now and some don't even remember some don't even have memories and it's going into places and spaces way back in your life some just yesterday some over a decade ago and this flame is and it is pure, pure, holy, perfect love. And it is totally consuming you. It is totally healing you. It is totally freeing you. And the Lord says, I want you to know, beloved, my bride, my child, my son, I do not see any spot or wrinkle in you. I only see through the eyes of my pure, holy, perfect love. And you are perfect to me. You are perfect in me. You are perfect because of my love consuming you. You provide the fire. And I'll provide the sacrifice. Provide the Spirit, Jesus, and I will open up inside. You provide the fire, and I'll provide the sacrifice. Ooh, you provide the Spirit. I will open up inside Fill me up, God Fill me up, God Fill me up, God Fill me up Fill me up, God Fill me up, God Fill me up, God Fill me up Provide the fire And I'll provide the sacrifice You provide the spirit hey, And I will open up inside this 